Justin, did you have a transition? I want a munch squad. I want to munch squad. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. Um, Sound for a second there, like you said, bro filing. It did sound like that, and I like Whoa, it. Whoa, that's good, actually. Let's use that. All right. Um, um, oh, that'll so be welcome. that'll be the name of our procedural like show. Like they're the bro filers. <laughs> bro filers. <laughs> Three brothers that can kind of figure out why someone would do something. I almost feel Griffin. Did you listen to the last episode? Did I listen? To, no, I didn't. I haven't listened to it yet. Fuck. Do you, so like you just completely missed the fact that the noise back. <laughs> The noid is back. In what sense is the noid I'm, back? Well, Griffin, I'm so I, glad Gene was there for this moment because Gene is uh, 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 an important person to me and a, a wonderful person. I am also heartbroken that you were not there for the news story that the fucking just the noid is back. I can sum it up real quick, though, Griffin. Yeah. There's a, a new uh, computer car that delivers pizzas. The noid's, and the, the noid's no- back. He's fighting robots. And the noid is fighting the robot car that delivers pizza. Yeah, the Noid is fighting robot pizza delivery robots. And he's back and he's doing I got a uh, Noid shirt. So not did good. you? I did it. Got it in the mail. It was very quick delivery. Then I man, I love my new son, but the fact that he kept me from this yep. exciting yeah. announcement. That's there's and that's not even what we're because we've already actually did all the jokes about it. Oh and Gene there's... actually came up with like better ones probably. Yeah. Um than you than you may have. But I, I just want to give you a quick um quick C B D update. Uh, Wings Over, which is the name of a place, has a new CBD infused menu for 420. Oops, missed it. <sighs> but this new flavor is sticking around. It's garlic parm with CBD. Why? <laughs> garlic parm, ch- like chicken wings? Well, it's a garlic parm sauce that you can put on wings, tenders, and tots. But it also and it's CBD. It also it's CBD garlic parm will get you mondo fucked up, dude. It no. won't. But why? But why? Because CBD and Parmesan tots. I guess. Yeah, but at a certain point, like if someone said, "Here's some Parmesan sauce," and I crushed up some ibuprofen, and it, like <laughs> when it doesn't make any sense. I me. wouldn't want that either. <laughs> What a delivery vehicle. <laughs> this is headache. This is headache destroying Buffalo barbecue. It doesn't make it's any sense. It's just that some things don't need to go in things. This you know? new game this new Game Boy brushes your teeth while you play it. Like, I don't I don't need that. Huh. If you eat a little bit of ha- of your Honda Accord's tires, it's also Claritin. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? So but- that's good. <laughs> but why? If your allergies are bothering you, just get out there and gnaw on your tires. That's not even what we're fucking talking about. Because that is not the news right now. The news right now in the world of QSR is everybody's, every, everybody's plant-based. You guys heard about this? Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's plant-based now. You, like, you mean like a salad or like a tomato? Um, no, sir. This is plant-based uh, Taco Bell. So you know that the, this is the end point of the whole oh, trend. Wow. Taco Bell is testing a proprietary, boldly seasoned plant-based protein meat, the Cravitarian Taco. Feet, it's and it says here in parentheses, sounds like vegetarian. Oh, 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 Now listen, there's probably somebody in the executive board who read that word and thought it said crave a train and they <laughs> needed a minute. They needed a helper. They needed a special helper to help them. Like the original Crunchy Taco Supreme, uh-huh. this take features shredded cheddar cheese, crisp lettuce, diced tomatoes, and reduced fat sour cream served in a crunchy corn shell. Thank you, by the way, for uh, reducing the fat in the sour cream. I have a much a big spring in my step now. Mm-hmm. Uh, ex- except now fans can experience Taco Bell's beloved taco in vegetarian form. The Cravitarian Taco is currently testing at only one Taco Bell location. Oh, wow. That's at 14042 Red Hill Avenue, Tustin, California. 
until big market. Supplies last big why? market. Why? Why would you put out a press release to say that if you go to this one bizarre ass Taco Bell in a Californian city, they'll ha- they'll serve you a vegetarian taco? <laughs> like that's why? Why does everybody need to know that? Well, Justin, they put out press releases when they opened that new Guardians of the Galaxy ride at, at Disneyland, and there's only one of there's those. There's only two. one of those. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. That's almost a good point. It's like glances off being a good point. And I would also wager that this proprietary Taco Bell Turbo Fake Beef is going to send you on a roller coaster ride of a different kind. <laughs> Hi, I'm Turbo Fake Beef, <laughs> the newest American gladiator. <laughs> this is going to let set a fucking land speed record <laughs> cruising through your guts. I, I, <laughs> it's blowing I, with rec- it's going to make a new tube <laughs> in between your intestines. <laughs> so it's just like a straight <laughs> shot. Down. It's the it's shoots and a- ladders of Fake Beef. It's gonna make a gut channel. <laughs> just fucking blow right to your butt. <laughs> the Cravitarian Taco is just one output of Taco Bell's innovation team as they've been busy making good on the brand's continued commitment to provide vegetarian options in 2021. If you're keeping track so far, that includes one vegetarian taco in California. So it's going pretty good for May. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, you guys are um, still working on that, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one taco in it's in D- Tustin. Did you just make up a name? No, I'm sure. It no, is. it's because your na- your name is Tustin. Your name's Dustin, and I think you just said <laughs> your own name. The term "cravitarian" it <laughs> it feels compelled to outline here is inspired by all of Taco Bell's craveable options. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it emphasizes how no one should have to sacrifice bold flavors for their lifestyle. It's okay. It's fun to see the marketing person get their hand on the ball who came up with that term. Like, tell them how I thought of it. Hey, tell them how I thought of Craven. T- no, I think they'll get it. I think cra- it's right there. No, but tell them because I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever done. You have three kids, Doug. I'm this just, is my this- fourth kid, the Cravitarian Taco. The crave a train. You know what? You actually said crave a train, and I think I like that better. So we're gonna <laughs> is it too it. late to? Ah, uh, damn it. Um, so that that is huge news. If you are near Tustin, mm-hmm. um, then mail us one. Guys, can I get? Is there time for one? Is there time for one more? Very brief. Yeah, there's always time. Del Taco created a Mexican pizza ghosted support hotline. Wait. For the past several years, the concept of ghosting. Uh huh when someone cuts off all communication without explanation, thank you so much, has become an everyday phenomenon. Not so much an everyday phenomenon, I might editorialize, that they don't have to parenthetically describe what the term means Mm -hmm. in the press release. But no, trust us, it's an everyday phenomenon. More than a year ago, a certain tostada-like menu item, described as a Mexican pizza, disappeared from a major Mexican fast food chain oh and fans took to social media and other, do you see what's happening yeah. here? And other online platforms on Moss to air their grievances. Uno Moss. <laughs> if they're airing their grievances about the Mexican pizza, I assume it is in the form of farts. Their request <laughs> went unanswered, leaving hundreds of thousands of consumers hangry, sad, and ghosted. Okay. And so, so now have- a year later, uh, yeah, Del Ta- Del Taco restaurants with breakneck speed mm-hmm. has is offering emotional and culinary support to all those disappointed fans via a Mexican pizza ghosted support hotline at one eight seven seven three ghosted. Fans can call the line twenty four seven. Wow, that persistent availability I assume is very <laughs> important because you never know when the grief of the Mexican pizza will hit you. You can call 24 seven to receive guidance, inspiration, and a resolution for being wronged in the form of an exclusive promo code for a buy one crunch tata, get one free from Del Taco through uh, May 20th. Can I just say we, you, you have been doing, bringing to us these months cards for quite a while. And like, sometimes I think like, this is the most like throw it at the wall and see what sticks. And then something else comes along and then something else comes along. And I, I'm now hesitant to say it, but this feels like just conceptually, perhaps in many ways, the wildest one. Right. Like, and I don't, I think it's the time frame. I think it's yes. the idea. <laughs> I think it's, this is, it's, <sighs> it's like when somebody 
like slams you and then like later that night you're brushing your teeth and you think of a really good retort only in this case the <laughs> slam wasn't against you wasn't a slam and your resort your your retort is to come up with a emotional support hotline for the people who feel slighted by the slam it, it is it is as if a kid said to another kid like you look dumb today yeah. And you, a third party, unrelated to the scenario, nine months later, went to the insulted kid and said, hey, do you need to talk about that? Let's and talk. they went, I don't fucking remember what you're talking about. So, what they ha- what? so you would think that Del Taco would be like, so we're doing Mexican pizza. Right. Fuck you. But. Del Taco doesn't, I guess they don't have the guts because they do have this thing that's called a crunchtada. That's like, a, a, you know, a round shell. It looks like a Mexican, it looks like the Taco Bell Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza is not an existing in the right. world. It's an invention of Taco Bell. So I, I, they don't call it the Mexican pizza. What they're saying is like, we have something sort of like the Mexican pizza. Do you want to call this 1-800 number about it? Yeah. Because then we can make the connection in your head that these two things are sort of the same thing. You can come to, to Del Taco. Tim Hackbart, you guys know him. He's the CMO over there at Del Taco. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Del Taco is more than happy to fill the Mexican pizza void and meet the obvious pinup consumer demand. However, instead of just meeting expectations with a single crunch tata, we went further by offering a variety that'll appeal to vegetarian. Do you mean Cravetarian? <laughs> Excuse <laughs> you. And by that, do you mean Craven trains? <laughs> if you are a vegetarian and you describe yourself as anything other than a Cravetarian, you don't you're not living. Uh beef and chicken fans. I think of myself as a chicken fan. All three crunch tatas highlight our um quick service restaurant plus positioning with quality ingredients like our fresh house-made guacamole, fresh from scratch, slow-cooked beans, and signature queso blanco, while offering guests best-in-class value for the money on top of a large six-and-a-half-inch freshly fried tortilla. So it's like a Mexican pizza? So what it is is a Mexican pizza. Well, no, here's what happened, is that they wanted to get into the Mexican pizza game, by which I mean the fucking tostada game, which yep. is the tostadas, which is tostadas. But they can't, but they know if they just call it tostadas, people aren't going to know that it, they're instantly. It, instantly, there are certain people, I should say, that aren't going to know they're talking about Taco Bell's amazing Mexican pizzas. And so this is their way of kind of having their Mexican pizza and calling it a tostada and then also eating it too. And I, but, I, yeah. you've got to do something. I and also it. not calling it a tostada yeah. still. The belligerence on display here is like, no one would ever know what a tostada is. Yeah. We have to call it a crunch tada so they want to eat it. Now, have you called the number yet? Because hey. I have it loaded up on my phone. I just want to know. It's definitely. Wait, wait, wait. Can you? You know me, though. I can connect. Yeah, to that's Bluetooth. what I was we thinking. We can get a call going right here. I mean, I know for sure it's going to be a robot or an answering I machine. I better be. Oh, God. Can yeah, you? but I don't think I could actually handle if it's a real. If nothing else, just the idea being. of a human being have to be on call 24-7 for that number. 24-7. Oh. Yeah, the 24-7 thing does make me think that it'll be recording. But, hey, we can treat ourselves. Give me one second. Okay, here's that. Okay, so we called and it was a real human being, and that I don't. It they it was not a conversation. Um, it was just someone telling us about a Del Taco promotion. So I we, we spared you the the very lengthy script that was read to us. Hey, and and let's spare them too, because we said like what the number is. The number's there in the press release. You can find it even if you didn't catch it. We said don't call it. A human being will have to talk to but you. But what if you're creating? What if by calling you're being a job creator? I don't actually know the oh, morale no. of this thing. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm moving no. on. I'm moving on. 